Hey y'all, welcome to our home, our life. This portion of our channel is Michelle's Tasty Dishes. And today I am making a sweet and spicy meatball. These are delicious, also called firecracker meatballs. But come on and join me in the kitchen for this one. All right, you're going to need a small saucepan um, to make this sauce. So I already sprayed some um, cooking spray in my pan. Now I'm adding one third cup of brown sugar, or I'm sorry, three fourths cup of brown sugar, half a cup of Tabasco sauce. You can use whatever your favorite sauce is, um, you know, sriracha or any other sauce that you like, you can add. Um, but we're use, we use Tabasco. Then I'm using one teaspoon of garlic powder. And guys, let me tell you, the sauce to this is amazing. It's what makes these meatballs so, so good. I'm using a tablespoon of red pepper flakes. Now, if you want to leave the red pepper flakes out, you can't if you think it would be too hot. Um, but actually, with the brown sugar and that, it kind of... Uh, balances itself out, I think, but you do you. All right, next we are adding some apple cider vinegar, and we're going to do two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. All right, next we're going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce. Then I'm just going to mix this together, um, and then I'm just going to sit it on the stove for now until I get those meatballs made, um, and then I will turn this on to cook down, and it will thicken up, and then we'll show you what we do with those next. But right now, I'm just blending that brown sugar in there, but look at that. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell you, the sauce is amazing. All right, let's get the meatball started. What I have here is two pounds of ground turkey. You can also use um, two pounds of ground chicken. Then I'm adding a one cup of ground pork rinds. You can use panko, um, crumbs, breadcrumbs, whatever you wanna use. Then I just um, added in a half a cup of Parmesan shredded cheese. Then I'm doing one tablespoon of minced garlic. Actually, I think I'm gonna add two. And then the next bit, you just um, go ahead and add to your liking. I'm adding onion powder. Then we're gonna add some pepper. some pink Himalayan salt. and then some paprika. Like I said, you can add as middle or as much as you'd like um, of these. And then I'm going to add some, I believe it's just some parsley flakes. See if we can get that color to come through. You can and you don't have to add it, up to you. Next, we are adding in two eggs. And you're just gonna lightly beat them. And 
and then just add that to the mixture and then you're just going to get all that mixed together till it is well combined so I'm just going to get this mixed together then we'll be back to do the meatballs all right, now, now that I got it all mixed, we are going to make some meatballs. And I'm making these kind of a medium sized meatball because this is the main dish. So we want a good size meatball. Anyway, we're gonna speed this up and show you when they're done. All right, guys, we're going to um, finish rolling these, and you should get about 18 to 20 um, meatballs, good size meatballs. And you want to put these in the oven at 475 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And while the meatballs are in there, and you want to make sure your meatballs come out reading at least 165 um, so that they're completely done. So check them. And while they're cooking, I've got this um, on medium heat so that it gets thickened and as you can see um, it thickens up and it's a beautiful color and next what we're going to do is dip those yummy meatballs into that um, red sauce the sweet and spicy sauce and I tell you guys this sauce is amazing My meatballs keep getting stuck to the fork. <laughs> but what you're going to do is just roll them babies in there, get them coated nicely, and then whatever's left over, I usually brush on um, top of the meatballs uh, to make sure to use all that sauce. Like I said, it is amazing. And then you're going to stick these back in the oven for uh, two to five minutes, and then you're ready to serve. And there they are guys right out of the oven with that yummy sauce delicious and here they are we put a little bit of ranch on them I served mine with a side of roasted garlic cauliflower and some cottage cheese and tomatoes but this was absolutely delicious highly recommend it but guys thanks for watching and we appreciate you very much God bless